Hi, I'm Dave. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the Janty 510T tank system. The kit here was sent to me by uh, iVapor.co.uk, uh, whose name I will put on the screen. And unlike some of the other 510T uh, tank systems that are available at the moment, uh, this one has been packaged by Janty, especially for iVapor. And uh, as you will see in a second, it actually contains the Ego size batteries rather than the standard 510s. So let's have a look. Nice presentation box as the Janty stuff tends to arrive in. Uh, and inside the kit you get uh, a user manual, a little bag to carry your e-cigs around in. Not sure if anybody uses those, I don't. Let's go through the boring stuff. You get a, an Ego charger, a separate USB cable, and I'll explain what that's for in a moment. You get five high I think that's 18 milligram RY4 cartridges in this case. I'm not sure if there's a choice. Shouldn't be. You get a cone for those that like to use them. Uh, I'm not a fan of using the cone on these Ego type batteries. Uh, I find that they make the draw far too tight, especially if you're using low resistance atomizers. And then you get two batteries each of which will arrive with an atomizer fitted and a dud packaging blank cartridge shoved in the top, which obviously I've dispensed with because I have inserted the tanks. So that's the contents of the box. Now let's have a closer look at what's inside. First thing uh, that you'll notice are the two batteries, although they're similar in size and they are obviously Ego type batteries, they are actually quite different. Uh, this one here is the USB 650 milliamp hour battery. Uh, it has a little cap on the bottom there with the Janty logo, very tastefully etched into it. You can remove the metal cap by unscrewing it to reveal a mini USB connector. And that's where the USB cable comes in. You can connect the cable to the bottom of the battery. And then this end can go into your USB charger, which will allow you to use the battery as a pass-through and it also charges the battery. The other battery is one of the new XL 900 milliamp hour batteries. So that, that really is, uh, it's no bigger than the, uh, the usual Ego battery, maybe a millimeter or something in difference. Yet it lasts half as long again virtually. So um, really pleased to have one of these. Um, equally, this is the first USB battery I've had of an Ego type. In fact, this is the first Janty gear I've had truth be known and uh, so far I'm quite impressed with it now as I say you've got two atomizers uh, they'll arrive attached to each of the batteries and if I flick over to the microscope camera you can see that one of the atomizers is labeled it's a bit difficult with the reflection I know but one is labeled LR for low resistance and I metered this out at 1.9 ohms and you see the Janty logo there. And the other one isn't marked LR. So uh, you've got a standard 2.4 ohm atomizer and a low resistance 1.9 ohm atomizer included in the kit. And that's good because it lets you try a bit of both. As you can see, I've been using these for a little while. These tanks are uh, probably about half depleted. Um, I thought I'd show you how to uh, attach a tank uh, for the first time use. Uh, I'm going to be using the standard battery on the which I happen to have on the 
900 milliampere XL Ego battery. Uh, so this tank uh, doesn't actually isn't actually empty. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set that aside and show you what you do when you first open the kit. I always use a pair of scissors to open these things. It's a bit easier. But basically, your tank when it arrives. Um, let's get a camera on that can show us the details. Let's have a closer look at the tank itself there in the bottom left. Uh, as you can see, it's a lot smaller than the uh, the Ego tanks that, that are now sort of commonplace. Um, it's designed really to fit snugly onto... Um, a standard 510 size battery and atomizer. Um, you can see that the principle is the same as the Ego tanks, however, there's a plastic seal in the center there where the juice is eventually going to come out. And if we look at the anatomizer, you can see that once again uh, it's it's a lot smaller in diameter than the Ego tank battery but it's very very similar in its construction you've got that central pin in the middle there the containing wicking material the metal plate on the bottom which is uh, quite familiar to those of us who've used tanks it's just overall it's smaller so kudos to Toby at iVapor for ordering these kits, especially with uh, decent sized batteries. Um, I, th I think the logic was uh, that there's no point in having a tank that's probably going to outlast the battery it's attached to. You might as well have a decent battery. And I think most sort of regular eSig users would, would agree that an ego sized battery is a better option than a 510 sized battery. So I can't argue with that personally. Um, so we've got our tank and uh, our atomizer attached to the battery here. Uh, to get the thing going, you simply need to insert the cartridge. It takes a good press down. I mean, don't welly it. You might damage something. But there's a good sort of um, very recognisable, distinct click as it goes into place. And that click the sound is the sound of the uh, central uh, the sound of the central pin in the atomizer piercing that plastic seal. So inside the atomizer now, the tank cartridge itself will look like that, with the plastic pushed out of the way so the juice can flow. This is one of the ones I removed at the beginning of the video. So once you've done that, that is your e-cig ready to use. It really is that straightforward. Now I've been using these for the about a day uh, I first set these up. Um, so we've got this fresh cartridge on here now, um, which I shall I shall demonstrate to you. That's a standard resistance atomizer. Um, using the juice that came in the box, in the in the tanks themselves. And I think you'll agree from that shot that there's plenty of vapour being produced. Uh, the flavour I am finding to be uh, much more distinct, much more um, um, flavoursome than the Ego size tanks. Uh, even the Ego Mega or Bucket size tank and atomizer that that that, um, that came out recently. Uh, these seem to beat for flavour. Throat it here is as good as um, any 510 standard resistance atomizer. As I say, this is a 2.4 ohm resistant atomizer, and uh, the flavour is as good as any other device I've had connected, including dripping. Wow. 
It's a very pleasant vape. On this one, I have the low resistance atomizer. And I've got, there's no sort of surprises. You're going to get more vapor, slightly diminished flavor, and you have to give it a little time to wick. And the coil on a low resistance atomizer is burning hotter, it's burning the juice faster. And as with most systems, you have to allow a little time for the uh, juice to wick and keep up. So that's the um, 510T from Janty in use. Um, it obviously has a, a lower capacity than the Ego tanks, so they're smaller. Um, but what they do have a distinct advantage with is they don't require the Ego type battery to fit to like the tanks. Um, they don't have the skirt because it's, although the uh, inner in workings of the atomizer are slightly different, uh, they've got the pin instead of the usual mess bridge that you'd see in an atomizer, uh, they do have a standard thread and they don't have the skirting around the edge. So taking care to use the a standard resistance atomizer rather than the low resistance because I'm about to put it on a, a small 510 battery. This is a 510 manual battery. You have the option of a very compact, well, not quite cigarette size, not even Super King size <laughs> cigarette. It's, uh, it's quite big, there's no doubt about that, but it's very pocketable. And uh, as I've gone on record as saying in the past, I do enjoy a 510 every now and then. And as you can see, that performs rather nicely. What I'm going to do now, and I'm doing this for the first time live, so uh, hopefully uh, I'll do it in the first take. <laughs> but I'm going to try to refill one of the tanks. So we remove the tank from the atomizer. Put the atomizer to one side. I'm actually going to use the tank that I took off earlier at the beginning of this video because this one needs refilling. <laughs> um, it's worth mentioning I like the way that the uh, the tanks are opaque so you can see what the level of juice is inside. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to get a fingernail under e either each of these little lips on either side of the plastic cap of the tank and simply pull the cap off. Now, I've yet to be able to do that without actually dropping it, so I suggest you do that over a desk or something. And that leaves you with an open tank ready to put your juice in. Now, I happen to have here some uh, iVapor RY4. And I'm literally just going to drop into the tank until it's full. I'm making the assumption with these tanks that it's best to leave a little space for air at the top rather than fill it right to the brim. And I find that it helps with wicking. And then reinsert the cap the way it came off. That seems to click quite firmly into place. You've got these little sort of wings on the cap there. Just make sure that everything's in and snug and tight. Just going to give that a little wipe because I managed to splash a bit of juice outside because I'm cack handed. Goes back onto the atomizer. And that should be topped up and ready to go. Very nice indeed. 
So that's my uh, review and first impressions of the Janty 510T e-cigarette kit starter set from iVapor.co.uk. Um, I think that the idea to supply the kit with ego sized batteries, especially giving you the USB option and the XL900 milliamp hour option um, is a great idea. Um, I frankly don't see the point in uh, any tank system that's gonna outlast the battery you've got it attached to. But of course, you do have the option to use it with a 510 size battery if you want to. Uh, this is retailing for, I believe, £54.95 uh, at iVapor.co.uk. I can see myself using these uh, simply because the flavour is better than the uh, standard, the ego size tanks. Um, I think these will definitely find a place and um, not much more I can add to that. Thanks for watching.